Good morning, YouTube. I just wanted to post a follow-up to a video that I put up a week or two ago um, regarding my initial impressions on my Phoenix 3 HR. In that video, I expressed some frustration with the uh, barometric altimeter uh, contained within this watch. I'm currently at about 36 feet, um, and you can see my altimeter reading here is 169 feet, so obviously quite a bit of variance between my actual and, uh, and my indicated um, altitude or height above sea level. I initially, when I got this watch, I, had, I read some reports regarding a faulty altimeter in some of the watches and, Gar and read that Garmin was replacing some of the watches due to that faulty altimeter. Now, in those cases, the altimeter reading um, drifts from an actual reading to maybe 65,000 feet. So it's ridiculously off. It's obviously defective and obviously um, not working correctly, and Garmin's been replacing those watches. Since I posted my initial video, I had an opportunity to do some research on altimeters and barometric altimeters. Um, and through that research, I found that this amount of variance, so about 130 feet, is actually about as good as you can expect with the barometric altimeter under uh, normal circumstances. So how they work is the altitude is inferred from changes in barometric pressure. As you, um, as you go up in altitude, pressure should go down. And as you um, go down in altitude, pressure should, um, should go up just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so the altitude is inferred from the um, barometric readings, the, which is interesting, right? So when you look at how barometers work and barometric altimeters work, there's several moving parts. The, your barometric pressure can change, your altitude can change, and then also temperature can change. So a change in temperature throughout the day can cause a change in the barometric pressure reading, which can cause a change in the measured or inferred um, altitude or height, or height above or below the sea level. An actual change in altitude can cause a change in measured altitude and then a change in barometric pressure, whether the weather's changing or the temperature's changing, can, um, can cause this change. So over the course of a day, you can expect a change... Um, or it's not uncommon or, or an indicator that something's broken if your measured altitude is off by 100 or even you know, two or 300 feet. It's just the nature of the beast and how it works. The way this watch works to measure altitude is that it will, if you start a GPS activity, it will fix your altitude based on the GPS signal at the beginning of that, um, of that activity and then um, from that known fixed altitude measured from the GPS signal, um, your um, altitude through your GPS activity is, is tracked throughout the, uh, throughout the duration. So that's really what you need. You need a known altitude. You need to start from a known altitude. Or you need a known barometric pressure um, to infer the altitude from. <sighs> Having that's my son yawning. He's bored with uh, with me making the video. He did want me to, to tell you that he has his own watch, uh, which is a which is a Samsung Gear Fit. He loves it, and he'll be posting videos on that shortly. Um, but so you need a, a known fixed altitude or a known fixed uh, barometric pressure in order to accurately infer um, altitude from barometric pressure. If you look at just barometers and how they work, they're typically stationary at a known fixed altitude and you can get a reasonably accurate uh, measure of barometric pressure from those. When you have a mobile sensor um, <clears throat> with a varying altitude, right, um, throughout the course of the day as you move around or drive around or go about your day, and then barometric pressure can change with um, changes in the weather and then temperature will obviously change throughout the course of the day, it's actually expected operation for your altimeter to be off by a couple hundred feet uh, over the course of a day. So that's just really what I wanted to, to put up there that, you know, my initial frustration with the altimeter and my reading being off by, in this case, 100 and, you know, 130 feet, it's not broken, it's not defective, it's expected operation, and it's well within the limitations of this type of sensor um, in its current use. 
you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll, I'll try my best to answer them. I'm not an expert on barometric pressure or, or altitude, um, but what I have learned over the last couple of days doing a little bit of research is this is probably as good as you can expect, and it's not a defective um, device or sensor. It's just limitations of measuring or inferring altitude from changes in barometric pressure in a situation where temperature is variable and altitude is variable and barometric pressure is variable and just trying to get your best guess of, uh, of those three. Thanks.